this is Andrew Wilson with the West Union Library. I'm a programmer there, and I'm just going to be doing another virtual story time with you today. And um, we are going to be reading a book called Making a Friend. Um, so it's all about a lonely beaver um, who doesn't have very many friends, um, and he tries to make a new one. So let's go ahead and read that. Okay, and this is called Making a Friend. Okay, it says Beaver was good at making lots of things. Exhibit A, a lodge. Exhibit B, a slide. And exhibit C, stripy socks. But there was one thing he had trouble with. Making a friend. No matter how hard he tried. Good morning, owl. Happy birthday, porcupine. Thinking of you, skunk. Nothing ever went as planned. Then one day, an idea fell from the sky. Hmm, maybe this is what I need to make a friend. Beaver went right to work. Before long, Raccoon stopped by to investigate. What are you doing? I'm making a friend. Sounds fun, but it takes two to make a friend. Oh, I am only one beaver. Fortunately, I am one raccoon. One plus one is two. Genius. Together, beaver and raccoon rolled and padded and stacked. They looked things over. I think something is missing. A raisin? No. Definitely not a raisin, but they are quite delicious. How about some sticks? Beaver and raccoon attach sticks here and there. Better, but not quite right. I know, this needs pizzazz. Yes, what's pizzazz? It means excitement. Ooh, my favorite. So beaver and raccoon added this and that and this and that and this and that until they made a friend. Beaver and raccoon admired their new friend. Hello, want to play? How do you do? Want a raisin? This parade is in your honor. Come join us. But the friend did not say wow or thanks or anything. Beaver and raccoon slumped against a nearby drift. This friend was not much of a friend at all. In fact, he seemed rather cold. Doesn't anyone want to be my friend? Beaver and raccoon asked. Then Beaver looked at raccoon and raccoon looked at Beaver. Hey raccoon, so um, do you remember a few minutes ago when we were rolling and padding and stacking? Raccoon says, that was fun. Do you remember when we were adding sticks and pizzazz? And Raccoon says, totally, I loved that. And remember when we just became friends, Beaver asks? Yes, Raccoon says, I so remember right now. Since then, Beaver and Raccoon have made lots of things. Look, matching sweaters. Now that's pizzazz. I baked raisin bread. Ooh, my favorite. But the best thing they made was a friend. Okay, so that book was called Making a Friend. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's just a cool little book about, um, you know, making friends and, you know, how, how you can do that. And sometimes um, not very, you know, normal ways that you would. So um, we are going to be doing a song, okay? And there will be a video in the description of this video um, to that song. It will be on YouTube, and it is called Will You Be a Friend of Mine? Um, it is a little cute song about friendship, just like our book was about friendship. 
And um, for the craft, um, we're going to be doing um, tissue paper cherry blossoms. Um, and there'll be a link in the description also for that with instructions um, that you can look at and see how to do that. Um, but basically what it is, is um, you'll just take a blank piece of paper, um, whatever kind of paper it is, and you'll make a basic tree. Um, and then you're supposed to use tissue paper to uh, make the little flowers as it is a cherry blossom tree. Um, you did not necessarily have to use tissue paper. Um, you could use anything. You could just use some regular white paper that you color with a marker. Or um, you could use anything, really, whatever color flowers um, you want. So um, with that said, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, so the library um, wants to make sure that everybody is staying safe and healthy out there. And, um, and uh, we want you to know that we're doing everything we can to, um, you know, get to where we can open back up and you guys can start using our services on a regular basis again. So um, with that said, as always, stay safe and be healthy.